Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze if this breakout that we had yesterday was just a fake out or are we gonna see continuation to the upside in the next coming week. So in this video my friends it's going to be very very important that you stick until the end because we're gonna compare the spot chart to the CME chart and I think in the CME chart we maybe have the answer if we're gonna see here continuation to the upside or if we potentially are heading lower towards our next potential supports at around 28 to 30 K. So yesterday it happened that we broke out to the upside and I told you in yesterday's video my friends that first we need several four hour closes above this new potential support that we have at around $36,000. We crashed immediately after the second four hour close again below this support and also in the daily time frame I told you that it's going to be very key to see the daily close if we are able to close above the new support and especially above both the 20 daily moving average. So here in the spot chart, as you can see, we closed below the 20 daily moving average. And right now we are also again struggling to close and go above the 20 daily. So it's going to be very, very important where we're gonna close the next couple of daily closes. Keep in mind that we are in weekend. So during the weekends, we always have play time. So I don't give too much significance on what happens during the weekend, but make sure that this coming week will be very, very important to see where Bitcoin will head to next. And here in the daily time frame, you can see that in my own indicator, we have currently the nine daily switching into green. That of course is a bullish sign and we should expect to have now new support here on the nine daily moving average right at $32,700 as long as this is flashing green. And another bullish sign is that we bounced now from the 50 level in the RSI and also got now a confirmed buy signal in my own indicator. It's not a very good one, but during an uptrend, usually this is already enough to bring the Bitcoin price again towards its bull run. And therefore we should expect here to have another breakout to the upside pretty soon. So the daily time frame here in the spot chart is looking again very bullish, even though we have some warning signs that we closed uh, yesterday below the 20 daily moving average and also again below the resistance. This huge wick that we had here to the upside of course is bearish and therefore I'm expecting in the short to mid term again some pushes towards our support that currently is at around $28,000. You can see here in the four hour time frame that we got a sell signal and therefore I'm expecting continuation to the downside potentially to go down towards the main support of this potential falling wedge that we still have here and the only bullish thing is that currently we bounce from the 20 moving average in the four hours so as long as we're trading above the 20 moving average in theory we should here fight the resistance again and then maybe see a breakout to the upside but since we got here a sell signal and it is still in play i think we could potentially see during the weekend a bit continuation to the downside. So I'm keeping a very close eye here where we're gonna close the next couple of four hour candles. We have the nine moving average here still in green. So in theory, we should be now shifted again to the upside. Also the RSI bounced for now above the 50 level, which of course is bullish. But in order to go again completely in bull mode like we were yesterday, we have to start to close four hour candles at least above $35,300. So in the four hour here, we are not out of the woods yet and this dump could continue and therefore I'm targeting here the support that we should have at around $28,000. And keep in mind that if we're gonna fall below $28,000, then we should target the next bearish targets here at the next support area at around $24,000. And then of course here the 20K area where currently also the 20 weekly moving average is lining up. So in the weekly time frame, you can see that currently we're seeing a little bounce, but I'm still expecting the other side to cool off completely down to the 50 level before we're gonna have a clear bottom and then a big bounce again to the upside, which will take out also this all time high that we had here at $42,000. 
So in the weekly time frame, even though we cooled now off a little bit the indicators, I still think we have some room left to the downside to reach these potential bearish targets here. And of course, on Monday, we also have to update these moving averages here, the nine weekly and 20 weekly moving average, because next week we will be a bit higher here. So I think that most likely the 20 weekly moving average will come very close here to the next support area of around 20 two to twenty four thousand dollars so we have to update these moving averages then on monday so in the spot chart everything is looking like that short to mid term we're going to see more continuation to the downside but since the daily is starting to look again more bullish i think at the end here we anyway going to break out to the upside as soon as we're going to bottom out somewhere and also keep in mind that the 200 daily moving average currently is at around eighteen thousand dollars so this is really the last resort if we're going to see here a big dump that the 200 daily moving average will hold as a support because this moving average is the most important moving average next to the 20 weekly moving average for bitcoin during a bull run and now if we're gonna compare the spot chart to the cme chart because here we have only data same like in the traditional markets so here we are not trading during the weekends and here you can see where the cme is closed on friday right exactly above our previous resistance which now should be acting as a new support so the cme chart in the four hour time frame in my opinion looks way more bullish and you can see that currently we got supported here by the 200 moving average which currently is here at 30 so even if we would start to trade again at 30k on Monday, we will still maintain our support here at the 200 moving average in the four hour and also on Friday we closed above all the moving averages. So the CME in the four hour is still looking very bullish. Also, if we have a look into the RSI, you can see that we're cooling off slowly towards the 50 level. We're most likely gonna see a bounce here as well as soon as we're gonna open up again on Monday. The only problem here is that we still didn't got here a sell signal but it looked like that here pretty soon we were also flashing with a red dot so with the sell signal same like we had for example over here. So this is what we're gonna have to see on Monday if we are getting here a sell signal that of course could indicate that also on the CMEs we will have a potential correction down towards the 30k area unless of course we're gonna open the CMEs at those price levels down here. So it's going to be very interesting to see what will happen during this weekend and then of course where the CMEs are going to open again on Monday. It is very very important that we're gonna open the CMEs at least here at $30,000. So we would maintain our support that we have currently here at the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame, which also here you can see always acted as a very strong support and we never came below this important moving average. So sometimes in the CME chart, we have a better clearer chart that tells us where we're gonna head to next better sometimes than in the spot chart. That's why it is also important that you also keep an eye on the CME chart, my friend. And now we can also go over into the daily time frame because here you can see that we closed exactly at the 20 daily moving average. So here also we had a buy signal flashing. We bounced exactly at the 50 level in the RSI. And also here I'm expecting to see continuation to the upside for next week. Even though of course this big week that we had yesterday is a very bearish sign because usually this indicates that we will see a big fast move to the downside afterwards and therefore we also have to keep in mind our potential support targets first here the $28,000 area and in the worst case the 20k area right below of us. So also here on the CMEs you can see that we have some bullish and some bearish signs. I'm still leaning more to the bullish side even though a correction down towards 28 potentially even towards 20k is still in the cards. And in the weekly time frame, you can see as well that we came down to the nine weekly moving average. We had a nice bounce from it. But if this moving average cannot hold anymore as a support in the next coming days and weeks, then be prepared to see a sell off towards the 20 weekly moving average, which here in the CMEs is also right here at 20. K and we still also have these big CME gaps right here at $23,000 and also a small one down here at $18,000. So I think this big one over here most likely will get filled if we're gonna see a possible fake out also to the downside because if we're gonna fall below $28,000 towards 20K, I think this 
could also result in a fake out and most likely it will be bought up very very quickly because I'm sure that a lot of people want to buy below 30k as much as they can because keep in mind for the long term we will go way way higher than 100k so that's why at the end it doesn't really matter if you're buying right now at 30k or at 20k if we're gonna see a correction and therefore I want to show you this chart before we're gonna wrap it up because here you can clearly see that Bitcoin has always been in a massive bull run here so even though we had several corrections and bear markets we always recovered and the direction is clearly shifted to the upside so even though we could see a correction potentially towards the middle line of around $20,000 at the end Bitcoin will go anyway to way higher levels so that's why my friend don't go and panic sell try to buy as much as you can on the way to the upside because long term you will be doing very fine and you definitely want to be invested right now in the crypto market especially into Bitcoin in these times where you see how the stock market is getting manipulated and also corrupted by the big players. So here in the crypto market doesn't matter how much gains you're gonna do no one will block you from trading and suspend stocks or whatever Bitcoin and the crypto market is for the people and always will be for the people so no institution or state can ever ban or block it that's why my friends make sure that you accumulate as much as possible because in the long run we will win anyway. So with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button here in this video and also subscribe to the channel I do daily TA videos and check out all my links down below here because with my recommended exchanges that I'm also using while trading Bitcoin and other cryptos you can get some extra money if you use my invitation links and also big shout out to our great discord trading chat we have a very great community over there and this is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin so if you want to join our free trading chat then just click in the link down below here once you are in the chat you have to go to the read first site and then click here on the thumbs up button in order to confirm that you are a human and not a bot and here I also want to give a big warning because there are a lot of scammers not only bots but all the real person real scammers that are copying my name and logo and trying to scam other people so I will never ask you for any favor phone number or cryptos that you have don't get scammed my friends those are all people that try to get your cryptos so don't get scammed this is not only here in the discord chat this is also in the YouTube comments be sure that you always using links that you have in the video description in my videos and not in the comment section I will never share any links in the comments so that's why my friends make sure always to use official links and when in doubt then just contact me or ask here in the general chat about suspicious messages very very important to keep your cryptos and yourself safe so with that I want to wish you a very nice weekend and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye